What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Here we go fellas. We have a very action-packed episode ahead of us today. Should have a lot going on. And uh, we'll see how we fare. So first things first, we need to secure some transportation here. This is the island we were just on in our last episode. It was nighttime last time we were here, but uh, basically... We destroyed that boat cocaine lab, and now we need to get off of this sucker. So let's see what we have for enemy resistance. There's a guy over there. Got a few guys over here. Hostile down. Take him down. That should leave us enough room to fly. I think we're gonna be okay. We're just gonna get out of I'll here in a hurry. Out the back door. As fast as we can. We're good to go. Alright, fellas. Good stuff. So, transportation, the bird, has been secured. Now, next up, what we're going to be doing is heading over to this fortress out on this, uh, this little peninsula out here. So, the one thing that caught my eye is this. A couple episodes ago, we revealed all the weapon cases in this region. Check this thing out. The SR-635 SMG-sized assault rifle. It's got way more damage, way better handling, and better penetration than the one that we currently have. So, I do want to get creative and, and different with our weapon choices in this game. I want to mix things up and, and have fun with it. So, we'll see how this thing works out. Who knows what it's going to be like, but... Uh, I figured we could grab this thing and there actually, it turns out that there's an objective, a main objective right next to it. So uh, we have to get in there and the cartel is operating a coca paste lab inside a converted fish processing plant in Okuro. Destroying the lab's ovens and mixers should disable it completely. So we're going to get in there, blow some ovens, blow some mixers, destroy all the cocaine and we should be good to go. So here we go boys. Landing right on their back door. Fell off the, the rock right there. We good? Nope, not quite yet. There we go. Alright. Solid landing. We're looking good, fellas. Here we go. So let's see what we're working with. There's a Sicario over here by the lab. Our boys are calling people out. I say we just throw the drone up in the air. airborne. Get a little Spotted intel as to what's off. going on. Take Couple off guys off. up top. Looks like there are guys over here in this building somewhere. Here's target Two number five. Two Sicarios. Over there. Near that crate of comp gear. Ten sighted. I got a target carrying submachine guns. We've got ten enemies sighted right now. We spotted one with submachine guns. We got a Sicario. Wow. All right. They're gonna make you back up. Did not expect it to make that much noise. I'm gonna get out of here. I say we approach from this direction. I honestly think our best bet is gonna be to take everybody out. Oh, there's another guy up top. You guys see him go up top there? We're up to 15. Up to 15. And there's another guy over here somewhere. That guy right there. Hey. We got an arco with a submachine gun. I don't see him. We have every guy in this area tagged. So there's some comfort in that. The fact that there are 15 of them makes me a little uncomfortable, but we're just gonna have to move through one by one. And take them out as we go. He's history. Hang back, they see you. I 
got a narco over here. There, by the container. We take that guy out without anybody noticing? Civilians in the air. Watch your targets. We That's got civilians kill. dangerously close. Check. All right, free and easy. Suffered the same hardships, accomplished the same successes as your male co workers, but because you are a woman, you will always be safe. Tango knows somebody's got a beat on him. We're good. We're still good. Dude, I thought we were found out right there. I was going to say, I was trying to kill both of them quickly and I kind of failed it. Yo, cartel gunman, in the lab. That's a kill. I'm seeing two narcos here, in the lab. Dude, what the heck? This is so hot right now. He's history. Well, so much for being silent. They found us out. It was bound to happen, dude. There were too many dead guys everywhere. Like, we... There's no way we could be stealthy about taking out 15 people. You know what I mean? Like, that was just... That was bound to happen. So now we come up here. We take out everybody we can. All right, fellas. Open fire. It's time to open fire. No way that guy lands a grenade up here, right? Ha! I was trying to shoot the pilot. I thought we might have him. Trying to do little airstrikes on us. Woo! We're gonna get into cover. That chopper means business. All right, let's just get downstairs. Let's get our objective. We can tag these supplies. Let's get our objective and get back out of here. There's no reason to. No reason to stay here. We did what we had to do. I mean, we're lucky that we were as stealthy as we were for most of the time because then we didn't have too many people to, to take out. You know what I mean? Like, we, we just kind of had, like, a couple left, and then we were good to go. This chopper kind of stinks, but we'll be all right. Uh, let's do supply rates. Supply man. new intel. Looks like the cartel's planning a major resupply mission to their remote bases. Cargo plant's fueled and ready to go. The rebels would love to get their hands on that stuff. All we got to do is take it. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. I'll take this weapons case, baby. We're going to try this thing out. See how good it is. Let's check this weapon. I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll put it on our assault rifle for now. Uh, what do we get? The SR-635. That's what it was, right? Or his AK-47. I don't know. The his AK-47 looks pretty darn good. What in the world? It's getting quiet over there. They must think we Chopper, left. Down, down. We can't silence that, though. We can't even edit it. It must be somebody's AK-47. It's probably, like, the, the first person we killed or something like that. I don't know. I don't really want that. So we're going to try this SR-635. We're going to edit it. Parts. Scope. Which one do we like? The PKAS. Trigger. 
Magazine under barrel, we'll put the vertical foregrip on there. Don't have a short barrel. Put the suppressor on there. Coming up on the objective. Get ready. Hold up. All right, so we've got to destroy these things. Let's get back to it. We need to get inside and destroy their mixing vats and ovens. Taking those out will shut the place down for months. Nice. Frag out. From a mierda, culeros. There's somebody up there? Down, get down. Take those fucking down. I can see him. I need an ammo stash, though. Frag out. From Get long up. distance. Nice destroyed. He LN nails the three. His head out of his ass, and pretty soon he won't have an operation left to run. Yeah, that's the plan. No man, this is back Atari. The damage you've done in Okoro has made El Emisario very nervous. He's terrified of what El Yaya will think when he finds out how much production capacity has been lost. Sounds good so far. To make up the difference, El Emisario has ordered his men to take over a hospital in Okoro and convert it into a cocaine lab. <laughs> a hospital? We must keep the cartel from taking over the hospital. It's vital to the people of Okoro and to my people as well. I have sent a small force to defend the building, but it's not enough. They won't last long without help. Understood. Tell your people we're on the way. All right, so to the hospital we go. Where's that objective gonna be at? Down here? Let's go save the hospital. El Emissario is staging an attack on a local hospital, and Pakatari needs help to defend it. It's your call, but helping Katari now will buy us a lot of support later on. Let's get the heck out of here, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to this little guy. We got the big daddy chopper chasing after us, shooting us. Hopefully we can survive. We probably have, uh, probably have speed as our, our advantage here, but she's smoking. So yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about my cocaine operation. Let's just take over a hospital and turn it into a lab. Sounds like a good idea. What? Oh, these guys are twisted. All right, so we've got a four kilometer flight here. It's going to be quite a long one. See a bit of the lay out of the land. That was a good mission, though. That was solid. I wish we could have kept it silent, but honestly, trying to keep 15 guys unaware that the other 14 guys we were being picked team. off one at a time is kind of impossible. Let's, let's be real here. So It worked out all right. We got away. Didn't get shot out of the sky. I'd call that a success. So I'm going to see you guys once we get to this hospital. And, uh... Play some good defense. All right, guys, we are quickly approaching the hospital. I'm just skimming the treetops right now. Kind of nerve-wracking, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So this is what we're working on. Coming up in the hospital now. It doesn't look like El Masario's made his move yet. Let's find the Rebel CEO and tell him we're here. Right behind you, boss. It's like a good spot to land in me. Okay, so this thing hasn't been taken over yet. We're basically setting up shop. We're gonna play defense here. What's up, brother? You've come just in time. As scouts tell me, Lemisario's men are on the way. How's it looking here? We've sent away as many doctors and patients as we could. Was a few trucks loaded with medicines and vaccines. That way, if the hospital is lost, at least there will be something left for the sick and injured. Yeah, pues. My daughter was born in this hospital. Now here I am, carajo, defending it from cartel thugs who want to turn it into one of their damn cocaine labs. 
There's nothing sacred to these people. Nothing but death, Kumpa. That's why we're here. El Emisario's men can hit the place at any moment. We need to get dug in tight before the shooting starts. Roger that. Man, this is intense, dude. We need to protect Doc here. I, uh... I think what I'm gonna do, I'm looking for this. Let's try out this AK. I mean, everybody's gonna know that we're here. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be a covert operation. So let's try... Oh, the his and hers are probably from, um... From what's it called? From the, the first, like, combo of people we took out. I forget their names. They're hard names. No way, dude. This is, this is sick. Santa Blanca's attacking. It's time to open fire, boys. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Where did that guy come from? What the heck? I'm pretty sure this thing has a round drum mag on it, dude. This is gonna be insane. Say hello to my little friend. Just gonna keep the dock safe here. We never move on. Look at that drum mag, bro. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. I mean, the doctor's defeat. Oh, we got a helicopter coming in. Do we have a minigun by chance? We need RPGs. We don't have any explosives. Except for frags. So try to go for the hero throw. As soon as they land, I'm going to. Go through the other side. wasting my time there. I was going to be like, well, we might as well throw some shots at it. Nope, it actually worked. Dude, this AK is the truth. You can't silence it, but this thing's the truth for these type of missions. What's up, bro? Just chilling? Just talking talking to Bay on the phone? Or are you getting... All tangles are down. Area secure. Getting shot at? This is wow. Bowman. Looks like you really stirred the shit in Okoro. Word of your attacks has gotten back to El Sueño, and he's out for blood. All right. El Yayo's trying to cover for his grandson, but he's caught between a rock and a hard place. El Sueño is demanding an explanation from El Emisario, and El Yayo's trying to come up with a solution that keeps his grandson alive. What's this do for us? El Yayo's been on the phone with El Emisario for most of the day, and we've been able to triangulate his position. This is our chance. El Emisario's twisting in the wind. We bring him in now, he'll give up everything he knows. Give us the location. We'll take care of it. All right, let's do it, fellas. That is exciting. This is going to be a huge, huge win for us if we can bring him in. So we're going to go back to, I don't know. I like our P416. I'm not crazy about that new one. There wasn't really too much different about it. Our P416 gets the job done. So we're going to go back to that. We're going to hop in our chopper. We are going to head out to our next objective, which is up here. Oh! Is a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeo can protect him. Man, you'll never let me try to El Emisario Just because that one time, Let's see. somebody want to explain to me why we're extracting El Emisario. We know he only got where he is now because of his granddad. It ain't like he's a mover and shaker in the cartel. You got a better idea? Sure. Leave the asshole twisting in the wind. Why else did we go to all this trouble in Okoro? Emisario's just a pawn. Bowman's got a sight set on El Yayo. If El Emisario disappears, Sueño is going to have to blame someone else for what happened here. He'll turn on El Yayo, which gives us an opportunity to bring him in. Damn. When Bowman wants somebody, she gonna fuck around. You got that right. So this guy is the bait, essentially. Emisario is going to be used to get to Yayo. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's get after it, boys. 
And here it is, fellas. Uh, this is the compound. We are going to be locating and extracting this guy from. All right, we're going to land outside of it so as not to draw too much attention to ourselves. We seem to be pretty good at doing that, but uh, we're going to be smart this time around. I actually already see a guy. A sniper out there. So they've got snipers set up around the perimeter. This is going to be a tough one, boys. The Bukon House. I say we just move up. We got a grunt all by his lonesome. Over by the Heads parking up. area. We've got Unidad patrols in the area. Probably response to all the shit we've been stirring here in Okoro. <laughs> okay. Deploying drone. Let's just move up and, and get all the intel we can. I got a third target. I got eyes on a sniper. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Enemy marked. That brings us to ten. Dude, they've got Unidad here. This is not good. All like, right, I will mess with anything but Unidad. Honestly, what I think we should do... Sniper out there. Is take down the guys on the rooftops. There's two of them there. I'm moving to position. Ready to fire. Gotta get over on this one. There's a way that you can sink shot up to three people at once, but it won't let me do it yet in this game. Hold on. Got to see. Target down. Okay. I think I've got a sneaky way into this situation. Unfortunately, we're going to be putting all of our cards into one play. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys might know what I'm about to do. Rooftop is now clear. There's a doorway on the second level balcony. If we jump out... I think we're going to be able to get in uncontested. Getting out... I have no clue how we're going to manage that. There is another chopper over there. So we can try that. But we're just going to get some altitude to bail. Coming up on the target area now. Get ready. Bowman can't wait to take a run at El Amasario. So watch your fire. We need to take him alive. Copy that. So that's our getaway plan right there. If we need it. We're suspected right now, but I don't think anybody knows we're here. Let's go ahead. I say we put the drone back up. Let's be really, really stealthy here. I think he might be by himself. What the fudge? Somebody hung themselves? I'll be damned. Ladies and gentlemen, El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I feel like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop it with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body. See if he's got anything on him. Hopefully he's got... Oh, a death note. Give us any intel. Hey, got a suicide note. Bowman, this is Nomad. We found El Masario. He's dead. What happened? He killed himself. Left a note to El Sueño taking the blame for the loss of the labs in Okoro. Guess the shame of failing his grandfather was just too much to take. That little shit. We had El Yayo by the nuts and now this. Guess he wasn't quite the fuck up we thought he was. He just didn't break the way we expected him to. It happens sometimes. When you do this sort of thing a lot? I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Same as you. 
Alright. Well, they saw that. Can we not bounce out of here? Are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? We can't just I was I was gonna say let's just bounce out of here. Just like that. Okay. It wouldn't let us do that earlier. Alright, we're just we're gonna take the chopper and leave, boys. We're good to go. New video available. This should be interesting. Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa versus el yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. Jeez. So, uh, looks like there's some, some disagreement in the gang, which is some good, good news for us. But we are going to move on to our next mission, which is down here. Uh, prior to the cartel attack at Akuro Hospital, the rebels loaded a truck with vital medicines and tried to get them to safety, but Unidad stopped the truck at a checkpoint and confiscated it. Locate the truck, steal it, and take it to the rebels. That's our next mission. I'm going to do that in our next episode. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.